Quorum, just step back in, right that far. That's good. All right, then we got a quorum as soon as you're right there. Just let me bang this gavel, we're good. All right, good morning and welcome uh, as we reopen the meeting of the New York City Council of, uh, Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. I'm Brad Lander, honored to chair the committee. We're joined this morning by council members Margaret Chin, Debbie Rose, Mark Levine, Dan Goranik, and Jumani Williams. I'm sitting down to not mess with the camera angles, apparently because everyone is excited about this meeting resumed from recess of the New York City Council Rules Committee. It's gonna go viral on the web and I don't wanna you know, have only my midriff in it. Um, <laughs> we are joined also by the Korean American Civic Empowerment Association. Thank you guys for coming. Some young people engaging in civic education for the summer, thank you. Um, and I'll note that I spent the morning at the uh, recognition ceremony of the Summer Youth Employment Program at Maimonides Hospital where hundreds of kids got to work this summer. And let's remember that half of them are there because we've doubled that program in the time that we have been in this city council. Not the Rules Committee by ourselves, of course, but still. All right. Uh, we are also joined by Councilmember Bill Perkins from Manhattan. Uh, and thank you as... Hmm? As from Harlem, excuse me, all right. Let's note that for the record. We're, uh, uh, thank you to our committee counsel, Elizabeth Guzman. Thanks as always to Chuck Davis, Director of Investigations, and Andre Johnson Brown and Joseph Anderson. They did a lot of investigative work on this week's uh, appointments. Um, today, the council will vote on two candidates, Nasser Osheta for appointment to the New York City Board of Standards and Appeals as the engineer member to fill a vacancy and serve the remainder of a six-year term that expires on January 1st, 2023. And second, Michael Rivadeneira for appointment as the Bronx representative to the Civilian Complaint Review Board to succeed Yungik Yoon and serve the remainder of a three-year term that expires on July 4th, 2019. We had a good hearing with both of them last week. I think committee members felt that they are both highly qualified for these positions, um, and certainly that Nasser Sheta knows a lot about geotechnical engineering and the things that are needed in that, which is essentially a staff position. It's a board appointment, but it's a full-time paid staff position as the engineer member on the BSA, uh, a really important thing for the public to have because developers seeking variances often hire highly skilled and technical consultants to make claims about their need for more bulk or high density and having a skilled engineer who can really review uh, the drawings and the program and see whether that's actually needed or not is critical and so we want to get him on there quickly. Um, the one issue that was outstanding from that hearing is the question of Mr. Shetta's residency. Pursuant to Public Officers Law Section 3, Mr. Shetta is required to be a resident of the City of New York upon appointment to the BSA. At the time of our meeting on August 2nd, Mr. Shetta had executed a lease to move uh, from his, where he's lived in New Jersey to a residence in Astoria, Queens, and he informed us at that time he would provide additional indicia of residence by changing his driver's license and voter registration to the Astoria residence by today's confirmation hearing. Members, you'll be pleased to see that that evidence is provided in your packet. He's changed his voter registration. He's got a new driver's license. And in addition, council investigators performed a field residence check at the Astoria residence, and Mr. Shetto was home in his new Astoria apartment. So we take uh, the rules of the charter and residency requirements seriously. I think a lot of this work is behind the scenes work that's always in these red binders, but I wanna say that we always really value the work that Chuck Davis and his team do. Um, there was a question, uh, apparently he had also been looking at home on Staten Island, but ultimately he chose to move to Astoria. There are some uh, boards where you have to have one person from each borough or there's a borough residency requirement, but it is not a requirement of the charter that the engineer member of the Board of Standards and Appeals live in Staten Island. Uh, and I understand that there's plenty of demand for housing on Staten Island, so you don't necessarily need them to, to live there. Um, so with that information, with all the additional evidence and the field residence check, the residency check, council investigators are satisfied, and I'm satisfied that Mr. Shetta meets the residency requirements to be appointed as a member of the Board of Standards and Appeals at this time. Um, are there any, we've also been joined by council members Helen Rosenthal of the Upper West Side and council member Idanis Rodriguez of Washington Heights and Inwood. Councilmember Perkins wants us to be more specific than just Manhattan, so, uh, or at least to say Harlem, so. In any case, are there any members who have questions or comments or would like to say anything before we proceed to vote on these two members? 
Seeing none, we will ask that uh, the committee clerk call the roll on the vote. Thank you. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on rules. Items are coupled. Chair Lander. I vote aye. Garodnik. Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Chin. Aye. Rose. Aye. Levine. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. My vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much, Billy. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes or so to allow other members the opportunity to come and vote. And we'll close the meeting at that point. Thank you.